This is in Atlanta, Fulton County Jail, right? A lot of inmates, overcrowding has been a problem in the past. An inmate, though, eaten alive, eaten alive by bed bugs is a whole nother matter. And that is exactly what's being alleged here. Let's tell you more about it here in Georgia. LaShawn Thompson, 35, just 35 years old, died in September while in custody at Fulton County Jail, perishing after just a three month stay. His family says he was eaten alive by bed bugs and insects. They're now demanding accountability in the death of their loved one. Family's lawyer is calling for a criminal investigation and a new Fulton County Jail to be built. Wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to build anymore? These are photos provided by the family's lawyer and they show a jail cell in deplorable conditions. Pictures, Thompson's body of his face and torso covered with bugs. Family's attorney Michael Harper says, Thompson was diagnosed with schizophrenia but was physically healthy when booked into jail. There's no excuse for a mentally ill inmate to be left alone in a jail, abandoned to die, he continues. They did nothing to help him, nothing. They found him dead in his cell, lying there, infested with bed bugs and lice. And that is what killed him. It's just gut-wrenching, it's disgusting. According to WSB-TV, the photos of Thompson's face and body covered with insects are too graphic to show on television. Spokesperson for the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, which runs the jail, says this in a written statement. First and foremost, Fulton County Sheriff's Office would like to extend condolences to the family of LaShawn Thompson. The manner and cause of death was listed as undetermined by the county medical examiner. Full investigation was launched into the circumstances surrounding Mr. Thompson's death. Part of that ongoing investigation, immediate action was taken, including but not limited to approving an additional expenditure of $500,000 to address the infestation of bed bugs, lice, and other vermin within the Fulton County Jail, which was done in addition to prior cleaning operations targeting communicable diseases that are common in congregate settings. Updating protocols for security rounds to include addressing sanitary conditions. That from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office by way of Channel 2 News in Atlanta. Statement continues to say the ongoing investigation is examining details regarding the medical care provided and ultimately will determine whether any criminal charges are warranted in this case, the health, well-being, and security of inmates in our care. Here's that middle finger part, folks, is our top priority. It's no secret that the dilapidated, rapidly eroding conditions of the current facility make it incredibly difficult to meet the goal of providing a clean, well-maintained, and healthy environment for all inmates and staff. That is precisely why Sheriff Labatt continues to call for building a new Fulton County Jail and criminal justice complex, which will provide an elite level of care, mental health services, security, and cleanliness. I could barely get through the statement. This man, according to family, family attorney, eaten alive. Can you imagine a more horrific way to die? Left for dead, not given intervention. And oh, yeah, you do two things that I call middle finger. You say your top priority is these inmates, okay? And then you make a pitch for tax dollars to get a brand new jail built at the end. Who are these people? Have they no shame, Benny? Yeah, it's completely shameless. And it's so infuriating because like, what a lot of people don't realize is American prisons, not only do we have like the most people in prison compared to any other country, but also we fundamentally, Uh, have some of the worst conditions within prisons. And this is torture. There's no other way to to put it other than to say that this fundamentally is torture Um, because it takes an extreme amount of neglect. I've never heard of anybody dying of bed bugs literally ever before in my entire life. Uh, So it must take like a very extreme amount of neglect. And on top of that, it's just the entire dehumanizing nature because like, and that's what's really important to understand here is that Our prisons and our jails in the United States were fundamentally built on the premise of dehumanizing anybody that's within those systems. Because quite literally, um, prison, in effect, was a reform for slavery, right? Mm -hmm. That 
literally our prison system as it exists today was intentionally created by white supremacists when slavery ended as a way to just recreate slavery. Well, okay, we'll just jail people for no reason. Um, and then we'll rent them back to the plantation owners. And that literally was like the originating model for the prison system within the United States. And there's been reforms since then and some changes since then. But ultimately, the underlying philosophical belief of the prison system is to dehumanize the people who are incarcerated in one way, shape, or form. And like fundamentally, that is wrong. It is disgusting. And it is horrific, the conditions that exist within our prisons. I mean, fundamentally, American prisons do not basic do not meet basic international standards for human rights. And that is already a low, low bar. That is already a low, low bar. And it is just sickening and disgusting to see this. And then once again, you see the same problem all over again, where Anytime there's a, a problem, instead of like addressing the problem directly, right, whether this is with the policing system or the prison system, they create these problems through willful neglect. And then they say, oh, don't worry, we'll fix it if you give us more money. Give us more money so that we can have a better tank. And then our response to protesters will be better next time. And then our response to whatever will be better next time, right? They don't solve crimes. And they say, oh, you just give us more police officers, we'll start solving the crime. And they never do. Right. It's just this ridiculous scheme because fundamentally, right, from the the from the police officing system all the way through the legal system, all the way to the prison system it is a system that is designed to dehumanize anybody that is of any marginalized community, all ultimately to the benefit of the contractors that build the prisons. Right. Uh, sometimes private companies that rent out uh, people to work for them. Uh, and uh, really just the larger interest of capitalism more broadly. Wow, that's a period, you understand? That's a period right there. But a postscript would be, what's the crime here? Schizophrenia? You don't need another jail. You need to learn how to deal with people and treat them like people. Disgusting, keep following that one.